MMA is a dynamic and complex sport that incorporates various martial art disciplines. One crucial aspect of MMA is striking, and within this realm, guard manipulation stands out as a skill that could significantly impact the outcome of a fight. But in this video essay today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be delving into the virtual octagon as well, going over a different form of guard manipulation called block breaking in a video game counterpart to the UFC, EA Sports. UFC 5. So buckle up and get your popcorn ready as I answer the question, is UFC 5 block breaking realistic? Now to understand the difference between guard manipulation and block breaking in UFC 5, I feel like it's very integral and key to pretty much go over the definitions of both. So guard manipulation in simpler terms, you're basically trying to manipulate your opponent's guards to get him slash her to drop their hand so you can land a punch whether that be to a body or to the head, okay? so. Pretty simple, right? But in UFC 5, their take and spin on it is a bit different. So in UFC 5, with the guard manipulation, aka block breaking, you're essentially using the jab to pretty much wear down the block to pretty much land any and every strike after the block is gone. So when I explain it like that, you're like, okay, there are two different things, but it still seems like some people really believe that guard manipulation and block breaking are sort of the same thing so let's get into some of these era life examples so i can kind of you know give you a more in-depth view so let's use this example because i see this one a lot as a defender for block breaking uh quote unquote it's dustin poirier basically he's throwing jabs throwing jabs right so he's pretty much conditioning uh just engage you to pretty much block straight shots coming forward so he can land round strikes around the guard. That is guard manipulation. That is not block breaking because if we reverse that and go back, if Dustin were to go jab, jab, high kick, Justin Gaethje would block the high kick. In UFC 5, it's a bit different. If I throw jab, 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 and throw a high kick, it acts as if Justin Gaethje cannot block that high kick any more longer. One is guard manipulation, and then one is block breaking. It's like two different things, you know what I mean? And this is pretty much gonna be the catalyst for this video because I, I, I really feel like this explains what block breaking and guard manipulation is, you know, to the extent of the fullest. You know, Dustin, yes, he is throwing jabs to condition the block. You hear what I'm saying? Hold on. He is using the jab to condition the block to get the shot that he wants. In UFC 5, I throw jabs to the guard, aka the block, to pretty much get the block down to a point to where it is non existent. So even if I do hold up my hands, I am not blocking set strikes. Because even as you can see, even as Dustin is throwing a jab and the hooks, you know, Gaethje is moving his guard around to at least try to attempt to block. And in UFC 5, it's pretty much like you're holding up your block and it acts like, you know, you're not blocking. You might as well not block at all if you get blocked. You might as well just sit there because that's what it the game initiates that mechanism as as if you know you have no block or as if you don't have your hands up so i, I feel like it's really two completely different things going on here right because as we transition back onto the ufc 5 screen you know we look at this right i go jab 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 i go hook i can go hook uppercut right here or i can just throw a head kick and pretty much get the fight over with Again, like I said earlier, if Dustin were to throw a head kick or anything else of that nature, he, he would, Justin Gaethje would easily try to block it. And like I said before, again, Justin Gaethje is still trying to move around his guard to try to at least block the shots. I really feel like that's really the main difference. Because when you're trying to manipulate the guard, you look at Canelo Alvarez, he does this a lot. Canelo Alvarez is like, one of the best guard manipulators i feel like in box he throws a lot of big loop and strikes already telegraph yes but he he's the best at it and the best uh i feel like the best example would be the callum smith fight the callum smith or Mikhail go the miguel cotto fight i think the miguel cotto might be a bit better but i like the callum smith one to where he's throwing he's throwing a jab right he's throwing a jab has callum smith against the ropes now callum smith actually does a very good job of blocking Callum Smith is still blocking, but Canelo is able to get uh, Callum Smith to pretty much commit to blocking the straight strike so he can land the round strike. 
that is completely different than block breaking okay it is so much different because even though Calvin Smith is still blocking the straight strike he's still moving his guard around he's like okay Canelo throws a round strike he's probably going to try to throw another one because he's conditioned me to you know block the straight strike I'm going to try to block the round strikes and now he's moving his guard around and now it's blocked now this fight is infamous because Calvin Smith after the fight had whelps all around his arms from you know from blocking shots and things like that I know block boxing is a little bit different but you see guard manipulation more in boxing than you do it than you do in MMA for the most part but uh yeah like I said before th this these are just prime examples of what I'm talking about the difference between guard manipulation and block breaking so what did we learn in this video guard manipulation use your opponent's weakness in their guard or their defensive uh, skill set to get the shot that you want so you pretty much you're moving their guard around to get the shot that you want block breaking you're completely decimating the opponent's block, getting it to where it's pretty much obsolete to land any and every strike that you want. Now, if you believe that these are two of the same thing, listen, more power to you. That's what you believe. All right. But it's clear that block breaking is on one side and then guard manipulation is on one side. Now, another question you can ask, can EA actually replicate guard manipulation to a better extent? Yes, they can. Will they? No but yes they can i feel like block breaking is a poor representation of guard manipulation and pretty much is an easy excuse to say well they try you know it's kind of said no it is not similar at all okay but down below in the comment section sound for you guys let me know what do you think do you think this is realistic do you think it's not realistic let's have the discussion if you think i'm wrong if i said anything let's talk about it man i'm this is a free discussion okay but it has been jamie may with another video peace of and prosperity love you guys do something productive with your day beating your meat it's not productive okay i will see you guys next time it has been jamie may you guys stay up stay blessed and uh yeah i'm out peace